in my last video I uh, uh, taught you or I showed you how you can find the fine number summary using Excel so we saw uh, 154 is the minimum for boys so that's how you got min 154 147 is the minimum for girls and so on so you can watch my previous video where I have explained how to get these stats now based on these stats we want to make a decision uh, from this data about the boys or the height of boys and girls of 30 boys and girls who is taller whether boys or girls are taller so what I've done is I've drawn the box and whisker graph and so this when you're comparing two data when you're comparing the heights or weights or anything of two of two gender or when you're comparing two data what you do have you have to do is you have to have the same scale and you have to draw box the two boxes or more than two boxes on the same scale then only you can compare so that's the first thing that you need to know you have to have a same scale you need to label the scale so this scale is about the height in centimeters and you have to have a title and the title is the box and whisker plot of the height in centimeters of boys and girls or of 30 boys and girls okay now this is the top box is for girls and the bottom box is for boys so just I want you to pause the video and try to write what you can see in comparing the data or comparing the box and whisker plot okay uh, so one thing that you can see is there are many things you can see I don't want to go over each one of them one thing let's start with the median if you look at the median what is that you can see the median for girls is 161.5 and the median for boys is 167.5 so instead of saying that just that median of boys is greater than girls how can you say that in a better way I would say like this so this is what I have done so I've written the first conclusion the median of boys okay so let me go th make this uh, the median of the median height of boys this is the median 167.5 is the median height is six centimeters greater than the median height of girls that's a better sentence okay so let me drag this okay what's the next thing that you can see the next thing that I can see is let's compare the it's always good to look at the box okay the box gives you lots of information so first thing that I looked was the median is six centimeters the second thing that I see is if you look at the median of girls which is 161.5 and the lower quartile of boys what can you see okay now what does the quartiles do now one thing that you understand is median divides the data into two equal parts so you can see there are 50% of the data less than median and 50% of the data more than median the lower quartile divides the data into again two parts 25% is less than 25% uh, of the data roughly 25% of the data is less than your lower quartile and 75% is more than your lower cot your lower quartile In the same way the upper quartile also divides this in two parts you can say let me use a different color the upper quartile if you look at the upper quartile you should be able to say that 25 percent of the data is more than upper quartile and 75 percent of the data is less than upper quartile and one more thing that you should know that 50% of the data lies between these two quartiles so these are the main things that you need to know so when I say when we can see that the median of girls is almost equal to the lower quartile of boys that's very clear so thus first you have to state the obvious so let me state the obvious okay so this is again one very obvious thing that you can see so let me drag this up a little okay okay so this is uh, okay so all summary statistics so let me delete this all summary statistics of boys is greater than those of girls so this is a very general statement the third thing that I say is 
the median height of girls, which is 161.5, is almost equal to the lower quartile of boys, which is 162. So what does that mean? This means, this is the main statement. This means that about 75% of the boys' height. So if there are 75% of the data, this is the 75% of the boys' data, okay, is greater than how much of the data. The median divides this into, so you can say this is the 50% of the data, of the girls' data. And this is a 75% of the boys' data. So this means that 75% of the boys' height is greater than about 50% of the girls' height, roughly. So you can say this is the second conclusion. Okay, let me remove the veil. And finally, so let me let me bring this. Okay, uh, let me bring this up. Uh, okay, so let me bring this up so that you can see very clearly. Okay, so the last conclusion is what I'm looking at. So the last conclusion is, what is the next conclusion that you can see? Okay, there are many other things that you can see. The maximum of girl, which is 174, is equal to, is almost equal to the what? the upper quartile of boys. That's the what you observe. The maximum of girls' height, which is 174 centimeters, is almost equal to the upper quartile of the boys' height, which is 173 centimeters. So just as I said, what does that mean? That means that there are 25 percent of the data which is over, is which is above the upper quartile. So you can say about 25 percent of the boys' height is greater, this means that there are about 25% of the boys taller than the tallest girl. So this is the tallest girl of 174, and the lower quartile, upper quartile of boys is 173. So you can see there are 25% of boys taller than the tallest girl. So based on these conclusions, your final conclusion can be this, that based on my above observations, for analysis, I conclude that boys are taller than girls based on the sample of 30 boys and girls that you have got.